Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Hi there, this is Tawhid Mia from hmtmcse.com This session will cover Grills authentication and authorization with login form This is the Grills tutorial part 6 If I summarize this session then it will aim to create a login form if any member place their username and password in login form then it will allow to user login to dashboard if there is a no logged in user or logout then it will not allow to go to dashboard that's the objective of this session let's start in first section we are going to create a dashboard controller and add index section for show welcome text after login okay in our project i mean controller grills app controller creating new comp controller named dashboard dashboard let's see what happened here this is the dashboard controller i'm going to add this controller in our git and we have to add a gsp file here so i'm copying this index.gsp from here to under dashboard okay paste here and now i'm changing this bismillah to welcome to grails contacts book okay if i go to fontaine then press here dashboard dsb or dashboard slash index let's see what happened yeah it's showing welcome to grails online contacts book next step we have to create another layout for public view there will no navigation main layout will be for private access and this public layout will be for public access so we know already we have a layout that name is main i'm going to copy this main and going to clone this main to public here I am removing the navigation and just adjusting little bit bootstrap code it's a 9 I am going to set it 12 because there is a no navigation so everything will be 12 ok 12 so this is our public layout everything is same just we created this public layout for removing that navigation this step is done now we have to create authentication service and add logic for login member okay here in our service only one service member service now i create the another service authentication service i'm copying the name from here because i most of the time mistake my english okay authentication service every time when uh, grails create a service most of the time the service not work because we have to restart our project grails project restart it takes much time no problem if needed we will restart this this is our authentication service now i am going to paste logic of that authentication service and describing what happening in authentication service okay i just added the bunch of code here now i am going to describe in first method set member authorization this method will responsible for set a map with the identifier is logged in true and the member object it will set to our session in earlier when we create that app util there is a method name application session that app session retrieve session from grails util and get the session this session i take from here and just putting our authorization object to authorization authorized keyword in session okay do login this is responsible for check username and password with database here we are seeing before check any password we are making this password 
md5 hash okay if the member is logged in there or member is available there we are just setting this member authorization here okay is authenticated this will allow this method will allow or return true or false value if the member is registered it taking a data from session and checking this is logged in map which we set it true if true then it will return true if not then will return false get member sometimes we need to member object that's why we made this function every time if we need member object then we can call this method it will get member from session and return the member that get member names get the member names allow us to return the member first name and last name okay this is the authorization uh, authentication service authentication service now let's see what next we created authentication service and add logic for login member now i'm going to create authentication controller and login design login form okay here in our controller i am creating a controller named authentication this is the authentication controller yes in this controller i am going to add this to our repository i am pasting some of logic here in our authentication controller we responsible for login user okay this is our authentication controller high paste logic here if in login we have to create a, a login gsp uh, i'm creating next here first thing it's checking is authenticated user or not if authenticated then it will redirect to index if not then it will show the login screen do login this is the login form action which is responsible for take the username and password uh, email and password it will send to our do login service and do login service validate that username and password and return back to here if the username and password is available then it will redirect to dashboard index if not then it will redirect to login again logout this is the logout it will invalidate the session and redirect to login again now i am creating the login gsp file okay here i am creating a file name login dot gsp okay this is our login dot gsp now i am going to paste login markup okay here you are seeing we using the public layout for login okay and this is the login form let's see how looks like this login form here the controller name is a u t a c n t i c t i c a authentication and the method name is login if i click here see this is a broken login form so we have to design it for beautiful for design i have to add a css i'm adding a css here the login.css you know i am the super expert of css that's why i am copying the css directly from outside and paste here this is the design of login form now i'm going to add this login.css into our project i'm not adding here in application because the login.css only need for public layout not for private layout if it will need for public layout or private layout both then i will add this login.css here but it only needed for public layout that's why i'm adding directly in public layout okay here i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then adding login dot css let's see what happened in front end see the login form is now looks beautiful okay so 
we created a authentication controller authentication service dashboard controller dashboard service now let's see what next the next is overview of grails interceptor creating and configuring interceptor for that let's look a basic about grails interceptor this is my document about grails interceptor if i summarize this interceptor then inter interceptor basically do the security checking that means if any request come from browser then it will try to go to controller but in middle interceptor is checking the request if the request is eligible for go to that controller then it will pass that controller if not then it will deny that request here you are seeing the basic example of interceptor we called a interceptor named security interceptor here before after and after view three method if any of view return false then it will not forward the request to the controller so here we will see lots of example if you want then you can see this example here just i'm going to talk about the interpret interceptor ordering if you have multiple interceptor then we have to determine what interceptor will intercept first then second then third here we set a priority this is the highest priority then this is highest plus 15 then it will low more highest and then low lowest highest the, this way we can ordering our interceptor intercepting okay now i'm going to create a interceptor called security interceptor okay in our controller here i'm going to create a interceptor in here here is fine no problem going to create a security i'm now naming this interceptor is security okay yes this interceptor is added with three method here you see that we have to add a constructor which will describe what type of intercepting we are performing now i am adding some code in our interceptor here we are seeing i created a constructor where i telling to interceptor match all controller all action everything exclude just authentication because authentication has login login mechanism so if it we the authentication controller also check the authentication then it will become a loop because we are not able to validate a user that's why we excluding that authentication controller now we are going to check here is authenticated or not our controller name is little bit dif different that is authentication service authentication service and we are going to check authentication service is authenticated or not if is not authenticated then it will redirect to our login page if authenticated then it will just return it true so here now if i try to go to our index page then it will doing nothing because the index index page not coming from any controller i'm just changing our url mapping where is our url mapping the url mapping is here now i am going to slash url controller name will be dashboard and the action name will be action will be index 
so this way we can change our default controller action it was before only this index now i am going to set it to our dashboard index controller let's reload it's reloading but our security interceptor not intercepting we may have to restart our system let's see what happened security interceptor this is the interceptor intercepting everything let's see the breakpoint is no this breakpoint is not uh, stopping here that means the system is not compiled that security interceptor let's restart it once It restarting the application so I am assuming that e after restart it will going it will go directly to our login page not will go to dashboard ok now it started to intercepting okay let's see what happened in next okay it's started see it redirect to login because if i try to go to this url it not allowing me because i not logged in here so this way we can add a security interceptor and it configuration now I have to create a user from backend and allow to log in there this way you can you can authentic authenticate and authorize the your application okay so now I can say that we cover one to six all steps so the Grails tutorial part 6 is completed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Next part we will describe how the system will start work again. Okay. Till then. Bye bye.